What is up, everyone? I hope you all are doing very, very well. We're going to talk to a few interesting things today. I'm going to finish off the video um, on some cards that I've picked up recently. So if you want to check that out, stay to the very end. I've not done that for a while on the YouTube channel. I've done it a fair bit on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, that's the reminder to go and do that now. But I want to start off by just, you know, clarifying a few things we've spoken to over the last few months, right? I've talked to, you know, some things in the hobby that have been, you know, negative or there's been a lot of scamming updates and things like that. And I just want to remind you all that, you know, to hobby is not a bad place. Collecting cards is a whole lot of fun. And sometimes we need to just sit back and, you know, think about the cards themselves. I don't want anybody to sort of, you know, see all these videos that I'm putting out and think that, you know, the hobby is not for them or they don't want to be involved with it or anything like that. You know, the things that we talk to on this channel is done so from an education perspective, right? I get called, you know, a hobby hater all the time. I get called, you know, a negative person all the time. But, you know, the regulars on the channel will know that I come at this sort of stuff from a positive perspective, right? I want to educate you all and make you all, you know, aware of the happenings of the hobby so you don't get caught out by some of these scammers. And that's all well and good. But because it happens so frequently, it seems to be all that we talk about, which is not a bad thing. I know um, people like the fact that I talk to some of this stuff, so I'm not going to stop talking about it in any way, shape or form. The content on the channel, you know, is going to remain the same. I just want to put that reminder out there that collecting cards is fun. It's about collecting cards. If you're seeing things you don't like within the hobby, it doesn't mean that everybody is like that within the hobby. It doesn't mean that everybody is literally trying to scam you. It doesn't mean that every breaker is bad. It doesn't mean that every reseller is bad. It does not mean you know, every card show vlogger is bad or anything like that. It's more so, just remember, collecting cards is fun. Take the things you're seeing with a grain of salt. Yes, these things are really poor, but they're not a, you know, a true representation of what the hobby is all about. You know, most of the things that you see sort of go wrong in this space is, you know, people that are content creators or people that are, you know, selling cards directly to customers. But if you go to a card show and chances are, you know, the vast majority of the hobby does not even participate on social media, they're not going to be aware of any of these things. They're out there just having, you know, having fun and collecting cards, which is, you know, what it's all about. So I just wanted to put that, you know, mini reminder out there to make sure that, you know, people are remembering to have fun with the cards and it is a hobby at the end of the day. Nothing is ever as bad as it seems. So if you see my content and you think the hobby is a terrible place to be, that is certainly not the case. We're just talking about this sort of stuff to bring it front of mind so you don't get scammed if anything ever does pop off. Collecting cards is a lot of fun. I feel like I've said that, you know, 30 times right now. I I happen to repeat myself quite a lot in my videos, as many of you guys will know, so I do apologize, but I just wanted to remind you all of that. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show some cards that I've picked up recently. This was one that I bought, I want to say in the last week. I probably overpaid. I think I got it for like $45 Australian or $50 Australian with shipping fees. It is a Leonardo Bonucci. It's a gold, the top of the class insert. I think it's four of 10, or maybe it's one of 10. Yeah, four of 10. Um, it's the only one that I've seen pop up on social on, on auction houses or anything like that. I bought it from eBay. I had it sent to my Ship My Cards account. The regulars of the channel will know that I'm Italian and, and I'm, I'm collecting some cards from the Select 2020 Euro set. So Italy won that tournament. Um, I'm a big proponent of, of buying cards that have deeper meaning. I've, I've talked to that on the channel many times, particularly around with the print runs as we talked to last week or, you know, issues with, you know, current sets not being game used or on card autos i'm always finding ways to try and find something that has deeper meaning for us as collectors and i think something like this is that right italy won that tournament he was the captain i'm working on completing you know the entire set of that but i'm focusing mainly in on you know the base cards which i'll show you in a second what they look like i'm working on the rainbow for every single player this is not a base card but it is a gold of a captain that won us the euros which i think you know is really really cool and that's something that you know when i go back and look at my collection it's like cool that's something that i can sort of relate to as a collector that's the stuff that sort of you know really interests me so i thought that was a pretty cool one now this is my ship my cards account i've got cards sitting here for the last 84 days as you can see i'll go through each of these one by one i think i've talked to some of these before again i use ship my cards because i'm based in australia it's really hard for me to get you know, cards shipped home. I need to pay my balances down negative 10 bucks. So what I do is I basically send all my cards here in the US and then send them home um, eventually. And you can see here some cards. So that's the base card or the base set. I think it's referred to as Terrace level as well. Maybe I'm wrong. From Select 2020 Euro, that's the Camo Prism PSA 10. So I bought that off Golden actually. I think I got it for a pretty decent price. I forget what the number is, but these other cards were basically just bought to, to bundle and make the shipping a little bit cheaper. I'm not a baseball guy. That is, I think, 1950 Bowman, PSA 2. Again, it's just cool to have in the collection because it's an older baseball card, but I don't know what I'll do with it. 
um, the Matt Ryan, which is a, the National Landmarks insert from, I think, Prison World Cup Qatar. Yes, it is, as you can see there. And then this Mo Salah. I'm not a Liverpool fan, but I just bought that for the sake of buying it. I think the following week on Golden, I actually bought um, the Insigne tie-dye, um, PSA 9 of the same set. I bought this again um, because it is another Italian player. I'll probably sell this, though. And then I'm, I'm working on a PSA 9 set of you know, Pokemon Jungle First Edition for my daughter. I think I've talked to that before as well. Whilst this is a BGS, I'm working on the PSA set. I'll probably cross this over at some point or sell it and use the funds to buy, um, you know, the equivalent in a PSA 9. Again, here we go. Another card for my rainbow. This time it's Emerson. Um, obviously Italian as well. We've got a Donnarumma PSA 10 tie-dye, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, one of the other sets I've talked to on the channel before around something that I'm working on is Select 2013 Basketball. So this was the first set that I... You know, ever truly got into I in terms of hobby collecting right hobby sets I've always been a card collector my whole life that I've talked to before on the channel but that was the first hobby box that I ever sort of got into either busty myself or through card breaks and that just you know holds a special part to me in my collecting journey I want to try and build out that set specifically the purple pulsars I think as they're referred because that is the best looking insert in this set so I'm working on you know the RPA set in these I'm working on a few of the other inserts, but the RPA is the main one that I'm trying to get a crack at. I'm almost there, to be honest. I'm mainly missing just, you know, the big players like Giannis and um, Stephen Adams, and I think one or two others that I can't think of right now are the more expensive ones. But yeah, I've picked up two of the rookies. Um, they were very cheap, like maybe five bucks, six bucks, so nothing overly expensive. We've got um, another card here for my, you know, PC chase, my Rainbow chase for Italy. So I think every player is like seven, and there is a... You know, silver, then there's a blue, maroon, orange, uh, tie-dye, camo. I feel like I'm missing green, golds, and then the black one of ones. I'm not going for the zebra prints because I think they're freaking dumb. I'm only chasing the numbered, the numbered parallels. I'm also a big Chelsea fan, as I've talked to many times on the channel, so I picked these two up from PWCC quite some time ago, actually. Both on card autos, both vertical. I'll probably sell these, though, even though they were for my PC. So once I get them back in Australia, I'll list them here. I'm going to focus in on the patch autos and the boot relic autos as opposed to these. I'll probably change my mind down the line. I'm sure, you know, you guys as collectors do this stuff all the time too, where you'll, you know, become hyper-focused in collecting one sort of thing. So you'll sell off some other things to fund those things and realize, well, hang on a minute, I want those things back. So maybe that'll happen with these, but again, they're not too expensive or hard to find for the most part. So that'll probably be okay. Now, in terms of, you know, the biggest thing that I've bought recently is this Ramirez over here, one of three filthy filthy patch for a, a soccer player let alone you know any flawless card to be honest and um on card auto match worn it's match worn to the year chelsea won the champions league which was i think 2012 13 you may have won this in a champions league game i'm not entirely sure but when i saw this pop up on either that was a no-brainer like soccer cards uh for those that are not in that space um are hit and miss for the most part with modern sets they only did flawless one year um for soccer 2015-16 there's a lot of players on that checklist that have not been in other checklists. The cool thing is that you know, Flawless is a fantastic looking set. Everything is match worn. When you're looking at the sets that have since come, they're not as clean looking as this, or they're maybe not match worn, or they're not on card autos. I just think this you know, is fantastic. And if you're a you know national team fan, or you are a fan of a Premier League team, um, you should be chasing this up, right? Because every, I'm pretty sure every single player that plays for an international team that played in the Premier League when this set was released have their Premier League teams kit in, in the cards, which is why it's Chelsea and not Brazil. That annoys some people not being, you know, a team match, colour match, but I don't care because, you know, I love, you know, watching international soccer. Being Australian, it's quite popular where I am in Southwest Sydney. You know, a lot of Europeans that are expats over here, so it's really ingrained in our culture. I love this, and it'll probably be something that I never do sell, to be honest. And then the last three cards you can sort of see over here are more of my Rainbow Chases, the Maroon Prism PSA 8. I think I got this for like eight bucks. There's so many cards you can get for cheap off eBay that if you're chasing rainbows and you're chasing, you know, various parallels in the modern day sets, you're going to be fine as a collector because people have, you know, paid big grading fees, yet are selling them for significantly less than what the card's worth, let alone the grading fee they're trying to recoup back. I bought some raw. I want all these graded and I want to make a big frame and I'll probably put it behind me where that Parramatta jersey is right now. So I think it'd be pretty cool to see, you know, all seven players with the whole rainbow complete for each of those when I do get to that. But that's probably like a five, 10 year journey, to be honest, because 
the golds don't pop up. The greens have barely popped up. And obviously, I'm never going to find the black one of ones. It's going to be like a a stretch goal for me in terms of being, you know, a collector, which is where the fun is, in my opinion. If you could buy everything overnight, there's no real point chasing it, in my opinion. And, and this is probably another big boy that I picked up. It's a green prism PSA 10 of Donnarumma. I think I got this pretty cheap, like $150 Australian, maybe $200 Australian. A few others have sold in the months prior that were much higher than this, but I thought that was a pretty cool deal. And given that I am working on a rainbow, as most of you guys probably have at some point as well, you reach a point where there are certain cards, which is at, this is out of five, right? That green that I just showed you. There are certain cards that are not going to show up again, right? So you sort of need to overpay sometimes and bite the bullet to take what you can when you can get it, as opposed to missing out. And then you could be chasing that one thing for many, many more years or the price it could go up. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, you might think you overpay on certain cards when you're chasing a rainbow, but some of those cards I just showed you earlier, I paid like eight, nine, ten dollars for graded, right? So you're going to have some really big wins elsewhere. You're going to have some losses elsewhere. Eventually, it all evens up as you sort of, you know, get through your collecting journey. So I thought that was, you know, an interesting one to talk to today. I just wanted to reiterate that you'll see most of it on Instagram. So if you're not already following me, do follow me on there. Um, but that was sort of it. I hope you liked the pickups. Let me know if you think any of those cards were dumb. Yes, it is very soccer centric. I'm, I'm, I'm very much focused on soccer at the moment. I've got some basketball cards, particularly some flawless RPAs that I'm interested in, but it's a little bit too pricey, the things I want to chase right now. So again, it is what it is. I collect everything as you guys can sort of see behind me. I'm just going through a soccer phase. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.